What's going on, everybody? Brian back with the channel, and today I am going to review TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014. Nerd theory. And I gotta tell you, this is not the Ninja Turtles that I personally would have wanted um, to come out in 4K, being an 80s and 90s kid. Uh, because, yes, I'm, I'm a bit little, little old, but that's okay. Uh, but I do have to say, I, I, do, I don't mind, I didn't mind these uh, newer Ninja Turtle movies, even though Michael Bay came out that one time in front of a crowd and just said, hey, the turtles are going to be alien in nature, and everybody said, boo, F you. These turtles are from an alien race? Well, thankfully, they didn't go that route, and it kind of went back to normal. In fact, they kind of make fun of it in the movie. Uh, with this, but I gotta say, uh, this is from Paramount, and I'm pretty impressed overall with um, what they've done with the movie. Um, audio wise, it's a completely I shouldn't say completely, that's not true. The old Blu ray had an Atmos track on it, and so does this. But when I was looking through the specs through the PlayStation 5, uh, it is a true HD, and going, going to Blu ray.com, it's a true HD 7.1 um, mix on there as well. So there's a definite difference, at least that I could tell, uh, with my uh, speaker setup. Um, as far the audio, yeah, it's, it's pretty solid overall. I, all, I was almost wondering if it was demo worthy. Um, I'm not going to, it'd be cool on a demo, but there's other 4Ks that I would put on a demo, uh, Moonfall, Andalus, and some other ones too. Um, but this one, this one does pretty well with what it is. So yeah, so Dolby Atmos with the HD 7.1, uh, Dolby True HD rather. Now the video on this is... It's good. It's smooth. I mean, it's a 2014 movie. I wasn't expecting there to be like any grain, and there wasn't. It just ran really smooth. There was maybe one hiccup I noticed, but it was not. It's not even worth going into about with that. So with this one, it's an upscaled 4K, so 2160p. It also has uh, HDR with Dolby Vision HDR 10. So that HDR between the with the blacks and all of that, the deep. Uh, dark colors in there, especially in the sewers, works really well. I do think that when they are in the sewers, some people, I mean, it depends on your TV settings, I guess, but might have a little trouble uh, making out some things, but I didn't really come across that uh, too much. There was a couple of times I squinted my eyes, like, what's that going on in the background? But other than that, I do think that if you had this originally on Blu-ray, it is an, worth an upgrade as far as the audio and video along. Now, if you're a special features person, the special features on this isn't going to be any different from the original uh, Blu-ray that came out uh, however many years ago. Um, so I think probably 2015. So as far as that's concerned, if you like your special features, this isn't really going to give you any more of it. Just the same old, same old. So with that, I do recommend it as an upgrade if you like the movie. I'm not going to review the movie because I'm not going to beat a dead horse. People have their feelings about this movie. I don't think it's that, that bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I had issues with the design of the turtles but it is what it is so with that being said thanks for coming by coming to see me checking me out please subscribe thumbs up thumbs down do you like these reviews i'm going to start trying to do these reviews a little more often life kind of happened and i just stopped doing it i'm trying to get back into the channel and back into youtube and all that and as far as the audio is concerned this is cell phone audio the microphone i had is gone it did went kaput for whatever reason we're in the middle of moving so i don't want to buy a new one yet so this is is what it is right now but i'm going to work on getting that set up over time so once again thank you for coming by i'm glad you got to see me